Okay, folks, it's that time again to do another unboxing of comics for the shop this week. And I'm going to start with the lunar distribution order. It's smaller, or at least it looks smaller. Sometimes that can be deceiving. Of course, they've packaged this all the way around with bubble wrap. Beautifully, perfectly packaged as always. Thank you, Lunar. Got your pack and slip. The new shiny, waxy looking packing cardboard they're using. So, that's new. A um, couple weeks. Okay, I see a bundle. Sorry, I'm off script already. All right, we got. Crisis on Infinite Earths, number one, facsimile edition, foil, shiny variant. Tappy tappy, very card stockish. There's a bundle. Let me grab this bundle out of here. The comic on top of the bundle is Hack Slash Back to School, number four. And the bundle is. Intergon Universe. Now, I'm not completely oblivious to what's going on here. I saw this on the order, uh, the FOC, the final order cutoff this week, earlier this week. And, uh, oh, that's free comic book day, too. So those have started to come in, the free comic book day books. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is a Transformers comic written by Robert Kirkman. Of Walking Dead fame. So, uh, as hot as Transformers have been here for us in the shop, I would recommend getting that. Especially since it's free. Gotta do the obligatory advertisement here. Free comic book day, Intergon Universe 2024 special free comic book day. Free comic book day is the day where you go to your local comic shop and they give you free comics. Almost every comic shop participates. The free comics are the free comics. I know that sounds stupid. Not all comics are free on Free Comic Book Day. They're a pre-selected bundle we get. And we actually do have to pay a little bit for them, so don't take them all. Be nice to those guys. But go to the comic shop. First Saturday in May, which I believe this year is on the 4th. First Saturday in May, and get you some free comics and buy some stuff while you're there. Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths. Uh, blank variant. Here's the regular cover inside. Fast simile edition. Crisis on Infinite Earths. Number one. Make sure this is the same thing. I bet it is. No, it's not. This is Batman Superman World's Finest. The hell? Batman Superman World's Finest. Did I just get one of them? This is not normal. Uh, it's a blank, I guess. Is that what this is? What What's going on here? Okay, that's another Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is completely different. I'm going to go reorder this right now. As soon as this video is over. Sometimes I say that and I don't, but this time I'm going to. So, World's Finest. Moon Man. Let's look at this World's Finest some more. Sorry, I'm... I should calm down a notch. So, we've got a cardstock cover on this that's completely freaking blank except for the inside which has an advertisement that makes me think that's a misprint that's not normal i'm sorry that's just not normal this is a key issue it's got uh, the first appearance of several characters as mites meaning like bat mite so there's a mitzelplink mite and whatever um moon man number two that took a while. So that was somewhat popular. The first issue was. Spawn. Number 352. Cardstock cover. Only $2.99. Best deal going today is Spawn. Because you get cardstock cover for less than regular comics. Rick and Morty. 
Finals week, number one. It's number one. We'll take a look inside, although it's going to look very Rick and Morty-like. No big surprise there, except for the red. So, Rick and Morty. Hellblazer. Is that Dead in America, I think is the title. Uh, number four. This is the regular cover, but I guess since it's black label, it's cardstock. Hot happy tabby. So that is cardstock, heavy duty cover, four ninety nine cover price. What's this? Drawing blood. That looks like a print of some sort. I don't know. I guess we're supposed to give those out on free comic book day. That's what I'm gonna do with it. Either that or I'll keep it for myself because I'm like that. Nightwing. Number 113. This is also supposed to be a key issue. It is Legacy number 300. So, Nightwing. It's very thick. Well, not very thick, but it's thicker. And it is $4.99. Has a not cover stock cover. In fact, that page feels thicker than the cover. I don't know. Maybe it's my imagination. Moving on. Jay Garrick, The Flash, number six. Ew. Oh, we have Green Lantern War Journal, number eight. Here's the Nightwing cardstock variant. Tappy Tappy. It is a very cardstockish. So, Here's what I'm noticing on this. Of course, it's a Jim Lee variant. So this is cardstock. Tappy Tappy, right? This is the regular cover inside, which is paper stock cover. So it looks to me like what they're doing is this is the one with the cover. And that's just an extra page there. And they're selling the other comics as coverless. Yeah, you, you see what I'm saying, I think. I don't need to elaborate. Okay, sorry, having a little trouble getting the comics out of the box. And I'm seeing some interesting things here. Or at least one thing that's interesting. Okay, here's Crisis on Infinite Earths. Facsimile edition, regular cover edition. That's a facsimile you've no doubt know already know about Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, Catwoman, number 64. Jim Lee, cardstock variant. Tappy Tappy. And there's the regular cover inside. Again, they've done this. So a very thin, papery cover. As we give it Tappy Tappies, listen closely. Same, pa same paper. So that's weird. Okay, and here's this. Without that weird overlay. So I think that was supposed to be a cardstock cover and they just didn't put the cover on it. It's just, they just didn't put the art on it. Could be a misprint. Maybe worth a bunch of money. So tune in later and see if I'm rich. Batman off world number four. Cobra Commander, the very popular G.I. Joe spinoff. Cobra Commander number four. Here we have Wonder Woman number eight. That one's got a little bit of a problem. Um, Wonder Woman number eight. This is $4.99. It does feel a little heavier than the others. And that ain't cover paper that's making it heavy. So, there's that. Ah, they're trying to slide. Oh, make another sec. Titans. Number 10. And last, we have Superman number 13. If you go look at the video from last week, I don't know if it was Superman or Action or whatever it is, but it had a connecting cover for this. And there was a foil one, too. I think... If I recall correctly, which as you know, 
Those of you who watch the videos know that I generally don't recall correctly. Anyway, Superman, number 13. Second part of House of Brainiac. Okay, moving on, we have a big box, a medium-sized box, and two mailers from Penguin Random House. Off we go. This is going to be the IDW mailer. I guess they ship separately. Daintily packaged by, drum roll please, daintily packaged by this person. If you've seen recent videos, that can be dangerous when I do that. Anyhow, My Little Pony, Kentucky Roller Derby, number three. That's cover B, and that's cover A. Let's just do a spot check since Tappy Tappy has become a thing. Tappy Tappy. And Tappy Tappy. Does that sound the same? Yep, because they don't put covers on comics anymore. Unless you pay the extra dollar, get a cardstock. Star Trek, number 19. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I guess this is Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two. Yes. So that's what that is. Oh, there's the two. I knew it was on there somewhere. Had to be, right? Can't not put it on there. All right, next we have Daintily Packaged Comics. Which, are, which is Star Wars High Republic. This one's got a cover. It's all shiny. And uh, this is cardstock, high gloss. This is some kind of key issue, first appearance of somebody. Um, ah, well, it's a number one. Let's look inside. Here we go. Only got two copies. And that probably is enough. Thank you, Carla. We're not damaging my comics. Next box. This is the one I was referring to as the medium-sized box. Well, like I said, I, the, well, as we saw earlier, some free comic book days stuff is coming this week. Probably, hopefully not all of it, or there would be much more. Oh, well. Invoice packing slip. Oh, look, we've got packaging paper all the way around. Thank you, this person, for doing that for me. Packing paper, packing paper, revolutionary technology. And I can I get them all at one time? Yes, I can. Off we go. Blue Book. Number three. I'm going to put that with my Window Shades variant collection. Yep, I'm keeping that, putting it with the the uh, Marvel Window Shades variants. Speaking of, here's a Marvel Window Shade variant for Black Widow Hawkeye. Number two. That went well. Uh, Ghost Rider Final Vengeance number two variant. Appears to be by Mark Texiera. Probably pronouncing that name wrong. Avengers Twilight, book one, third printing. So I just got one because people don't buy later printings as much. Dead X-Men, number four. Also, pardon the background noise because there's people out there doing stuff, games and etc. Uh, Fall of House of X, number four. Is this a variant? It is a variant. That's a darn good one, too. And next. Beware. The Planet of the Apes. Number four. Oh, I got more of these because I'm smart. 
Rise of House of X number four, or sorry, Fall of the House of X number four, variant cover. Captain Marvel, number seven. Black Widow Hawkeye, number two. Regular cover. Got three of those. Here is Amazing Spider-Man, number 255, facsimile edition. Uh, after seeing this, I think we're now making too many fast, fast single editions and need to just roll it back. Spider Woman number six. Mace Windu number three. Versus Job of the Hutt's Hit Squad. That's kind of cool. Maybe. That is supposed to be a first appearance of someone, I think, or some kind of key issue of some sort. What if Venom number three? It's like a Doctor Strange Venom. Spider Boy number six. And when I say something's a key issue, um, I'm basing that on I got the Key Collector app. I mention it often, but but I use it a lot. It's a good app. Key Collector Comics. And it'll tell you what's coming out this week that's a key issue. It also tells you pretty much all key issues. So it's a good thing to have. Giant Size Hulk number one. This has a cover. Not a cardstock cover, but a cover. And here's your art. And that's some reprinty looking stuff right there. And moving on. We have... Thor. What is this? Thor number one? Is that what we're doing? Are they going to tell us even what it is? Looking for the Indica. They used to put that stuff in the front always. I think it was even a law or something. It is Roxxon Presents Thor number one. There's that. It's number one. We'll look inside a little further. We got Enchantress in a bikini. That's kind of good, right? So that's your art. And Roxxon presents Thor number one. Ghost Rider Final Vengeance number two regular cover. Miles Morales Spider-Man number 19. Fall of House of X, number four, regular cover. Good cover. Not as good as a variant. Avengers Twilight, number five. Spectacular Spider-Men, plural. Number two, the Spectacular Spider-Men, Appears to be Peter Parker and Miles Morales. Could be wrong. Never know. Never know for sure. Ultimate Black Panther, number three. Uh, that's, I believe, the first appearance of Ultimate Storm. Which, arguably, we've already had in the last Ultimate Universe. I don't know how any of that's playing out. So, Key Collector app says it is first appearance of Ultimate Storm. So now we go to the big box. Let's pay attention to how this is packaged. Oh, this is all free comic book day. Packaged by Daniel Pip. Invoice package slip thingy. And here we go. It's packaged very strangely because this is the free comic book day stuff. First Saturday in May. Monster High. Free comic book day bundle from IDW. Hellboy free comic book day. Also featuring Stranger Things. Is it flip book? It is not. Free comic book day Hellboy. Spidey and his amazing friends. Free comic book day edition. 
Free Comic Book Day Marvel Voices number one. Free Comic Book Day Star Wars Young Jedi Adventures number one. Free Comic Book Day Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Is it, it is kind of a flip book. No. Well, is it? Yes, it was some kind of flip book for something. Either that or the ad's upside down. Is it upside down? or? Am, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's more. Free Comic Book Day Spider-Man Ultimate Universe. Another one of those because that's going to be popular. People are going to want that. Free comic book day, Star Wars. Number one. That bundle's bigger than the others. Here's another bundle of that because it's Star Wars and people want that. Right? And last, free comic book day, Blood Hunt. Number one. So there'll be more free comic book day comics come in um, from DC or whatever. Um, as a lot of you know, I do not order from Diamond anymore. Um, so they have a lot of free comic book days. Stuff comes from them. Um, we will not be carrying those books. But we do get the uh, Marvel DC image, Dark Horse IDW. And whoever else that's uh, not distributed by Diamond. Um, so go to your comic shop on Free Comic Book Day, the first Saturday in May. And uh, get some free comics. Better yet, come to my shop, Archville and Comics, University Mall in Blacksburg, inside of Fun and Games. Come to my shop and get some free comics. And uh, I'm going to have a big sale. That's kind of how we get you. You go there for the free comics and you see something you want. It's on sale. Then you buy it and now we have money, which is rare. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.